Hi, my name is Dale Downing. I'm with Realty Executives Dillon, and I'd like to welcome you to my video blog. So, what are the 12 steps to buying a house as of 2021 or 2021 or as of February 2021? Okay, it's an inside joke. All right. First thing, there are 12 steps in my opinion, and I'm going to break them down. For those of you that never purchased a house, this will be very useful. And for those of you that haven't purchased a house in many, many years, you'll find this useful or selling a house. You need to know what's going on. So here we go. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is hire a full-time professional real estate agent, someone like me, been in the business at least 10 years and sold hundreds of homes. That's number one. And you usually find a good real estate agent based on a referral from a friend, family member, coworker etc. Second thing you're going to want to do, get pre-approved from a reputable bank or lender. Without a pre-approval, you don't really know whether you qualify to purchase a home or what your monthly payments are going to be. And that's extremely important. You're going to want to know if you buy a house, what's what it's going to cost you every month. Okay. Number three, Housing criteria, you're going to get together with your agent and go over what's important to you, must-haves. Um, if you have to have a three-car garage or you have to be a certain distance from a school, so you definitely want to communicate that to him or her. But other other criteria are bedrooms and baths, square footage, um, how close it is to the freeway, parks, restaurants, and shops, all that. So your agent can look in the areas that you desire and for the homes that meet your criteria. Fourth thing, the fourth uh, step is to actually go looking. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna want to go looking now. When a home comes on the market, it's of my opinion you want to get out there between 24 and 48 hours of it coming on the market. If you wait 72, 72 hours a week, it's probably going to be gone. It's a race. You need to get out there immediately. Now, the next thing you're going to do, and this is number five, you're gonna write offers. Okay. Now let's pretend you get an offer accepted. Number six, you're going to open escrow. Okay. And what is escrow? Escrow is a neutral. I'm going to read this because uh, uh, I'm going to read it verbatim as the definition is um, easy for me to say, as it is defined. A neutral third party, which oversees the agreement between buyer and seller and holds the money on behalf of the parties. Okay. That makes sense. And it's the time frame. Escrow usually lasts between 30 and 45 days, whatever you've negotiated with the seller. The next thing, once you're in it, the first thing you're going to do once you're in escrow is the lender is going to order the appraisal. And the appraisal is going to determine the value of the property. Now, the bank that's lending you the money wants to make sure that the value is there. If they're lending you $500,000, and this is the purpose of an appraisal. If they're lending you $500,000 and one day you wake up and this does happen and the buyers don't make any more payments for whatever reason and the bank has to take back the property, they want to make sure they can sell it on the open market and get made whole again. They want to make sure they can get their money back. That's the purpose of an appraisal. Okay. Number eight, you want to do a home inspection. It's very important. Determine the health, so to speak, of the property, the overall condition. Number nine, you want to do any request for repairs or credits based on the home inspection. Number 10, you're going to sign loan docs, okay, which is very exciting. You're getting close to the end. Number 11, the final walkthrough, you're probably a day or two out from closing. Your 30 days or 45 days are just about up. The final walkthrough is to make sure that the house is in the same condition as when you purchased it and if you did agree to any request for repairs, that those repairs were done to your satisfaction. Super important. And number 12, congratulations, close of escrow. I typically go out there, hand my clients the keys. We celebrate. It's a great, great day. And it's, a, it's extremely rewarding to see the, the, the faces of my clients and how excited they are when they, when they buy either their first home or their fourth home. It doesn't matter. Buyers are always excited to purchase a home. It's my pleasure to help every single one of them. 
My name is Dale Downing. I'm with Realty Executives Dylan. My phone number is 619-993-0629. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need a great real, real estate agent, give me a call. I'd be glad to help you. Thanks for watching. Have an outstanding day.